from the Burg, and I do things. And today I am here with my July empties. I don't know how I accumulated so much this month, but I feel like I have more empties this month than I do normally. I don't know how I did it, but I did it. And even with the move, it seems like I still went through a lot of stuff, which I wasn't expecting. So if you wanna see what I used up this month and if I liked it or not, then keep on watching. Let's go. First, I have a bunch of sheet masks I liked using this month. This first one is from Biobel. This was their unicorn face mask with chocolate, mulberry, and honey. I got this in my June Ipsy and I really liked it. Next, I used up some masks from Glam Up. I used the Nourishing Shea Butter, the Refreshing Green Tea, and the Soothing Aloe Mask. These are really, really good masks and you can get them in a pack on Amazon for a really great price. Next, I used up two Tony Moly masks. I love Tony Moly masks and I used their Broccoli Vitality and their Tomato Radiance Mask. And I believe I got those from Ulta. Next is a mask I received as a gift, but this is the Clinical Works Radiance Facial Mask. It's a vitamin C mask and I really, really like it. Next, I also got in an Ipsy bag. This is the Pure Lease Coconut and Rice Nourishing Sheet Mask. Really like this one. Next, I did a Mask Monday on this. This is the coolest mask I think I've ever tried, maybe. But this is from Saint Tropez and it's a self-tanning sheet mask and I really, really liked it and the results were awesome and it definitely lasted a few days. I have another mask from Tony Moly, but this is their Little Pet Eye Patch Mask. This was a really, really good eye mask. I definitely would recommend it. Next, I also did a mask Monday on this one. This is the 7th Heaven Passion Peel-Off Mask. I think 7th Heaven has some of the greatest peel-off masks and they do not hurt when you remove them. And the final mask that I really liked using this month was the Gate Solution Frozen Mask. This is a mask that you actually put in your freezer. And I did do a mask Monday on this and it was just such a nice, refreshing feeling. And I feel like in the summertime, this was great to use. Next, I have a few masks that I wasn't the craziest about. This first one I also did a mask Monday on and this is the Ulta Beauty Free Mask Prepping Face Scrub. Now this was supposed to be like a face scrub that was specifically for use before you do a mask. However, I didn't understand the point of this. Like either exfoliate before using a mask or don't. This just seemed unnecessary. Next, I think I got this actually from YesStyle.com. This is from the brand It Chewed House and this is their collagen eye patch. And I just didn't find that it was the best eye under eye mask I've used. It was just okay. And this is from my most recent Ipsy video and this is the Secret Key Nature Recipe Honey Nutrition and Smooth Complexion Mask. This turned my skin bright red. I can't tell you the last time a face mask did that to me, but I have no idea what about this mask did that to me, but I was not happy. Next, I have some shower products. First came in my Fortune Cookie Soap subscription box. This was from the Marvel Edition box, and this is the Suit Up Body Wash. Now, let me say something. It came in this bottle, and I thought the bottle was red, but the bottle is clear and the soap was red, which I'm not crazy about dyeing soaps, especially red. But my problem wasn't even that. My problem was it didn't have like a scent I'd want a body wash to have. It just smelled like you went to the school bathroom and used the hand soap to take a shower in. So not my favorite, definitely not my favorite. Next, I believe is a body wash I received in a Walmart beauty box. And this is the Soft Soap Earth Blends Moisturizing Body Wash. And this is in the scent Coconut and Fig. I don't think I like fig scent because I definitely did not like the way this smelled. And I'm assuming that was the fig because typically I really like coconut scents. So that was kind of a bummer. Next came in a Target beauty box and this is the Pantene Pro-V Foam Conditioner for sheer volume. Now like the foamy part of it was like cool because conditioners don't typically foam. However, when I am using a conditioner, I am not looking for volume. I already have a lot of volume on the bottom half of my hair. I'm looking more for health and strength and conditioning, I don't know. When I'm looking for volume, I'm looking for volume more towards my scalp. So for me, this wasn't a product that really did anything for my hair needs. But I don't think it's a bad product, if that makes sense. Next is a product I received from Pinch Me, and this is the Garnier Fructis Smoothing Treat One Minute Hair Mask with Avocado Extract. I really liked this. I just tend to like hair masks. It's very rare for me not to like a hair mask. This one smelled good, and I would definitely recommend it. 
Next is another item that came from Fortune Cookie Soap in the Marvel box. This was the God of Thunder Coffee Body Polish. Now, I have mixed feelings. Was it a good coffee scrub? Yeah, it was pretty good. However, I don't understand why it came in a paper bag like this because it was always damp because I used it when I showered. I don't get why they wouldn't just put it in something plastic. Even if they didn't want to put it in like a container, like why wouldn't you just use a plastic bag? I don't know, just having it in this paper bag for me threw, threw it off. Next came from one of my daily goodie boxes and this was the Infugia My Boyfriend Fizz and Foam Bath Bomb. I didn't have a problem with this. It does, like it's called My Boyfriend and it, it has like, it almost smells like Axe. Like if you don't like the way like male fragrance smells, this is not going to be for you. However, if that's something you're into, like this literally smells like somebody just sprayed a can of Axe. Next is from a Target Beauty Box and this is the Tresume Repair and Protect Instant Recovery Mask. So once again, a hair mask. I really liked it. It was a lot of hair mask in it, but I have really long, thick hair. So I feel like if somebody who had maybe shorter hair or thinner hair than me would have gotten maybe even more than one use out of this packet. Next, I kind of have like the random category of things that I didn't really know where to fit it. First, I believe this came in a Target box or in a Walmart box, I really can't remember, but this is the Secret Clinical Strength Smooth, Solid, Light and Fresh Deodorant. I didn't have a problem with the way this performed, but it is one of those deodorants that you twist up and like the soft liquid comes up and you douse yourself in. I don't know, just for me, it's messy and I don't like messy deodorant because as it is, I always get like deodorant stains on my clothes. So I feel like this makes even more of the chance of making a mess, I don't know. It just isn't for me, but I don't have a problem with it in general, I don't know. Next, I finished a nail polish remover. This is just 100% acetone. It's the Walmart Equate brand. Yes. I finished a container of Q-tips. Just plain old Q-tips. Next, I finished the AOA Studio Pure Cotton Rounds. This was a 40 count. This is from Shop Miss A. Honestly, for a dollar for 40 of these, I don't think it's worth it. I think you can get a better value at Target or Walmart and the quality of them would be better. Next are the Daylogic Premium Cotton Ovals. I think this I got at Rite Aid, but I like the oval cotton rounds for when I use my cellar water to remove my makeup. Next I have some body lotions. First is from Aveeno and this is the Daily Moisturizing Lotion. This came in a Walmart beauty box and this is one of those products that I've probably used since high school and it's great. Next, I got as a free sample from Ulta, and this is the Philosophy Pure Grace Rose Nude. This smells so good. I can't, I mean, I guess it's a rosy scent. It smells so good, and I really, really genuinely like using this. I don't use a lot of Philosophy, but this smells really good. Next, I have like facial cleansing things. First is from L'Oreal Paris, and this is their Pure Clay Cleanser. Honestly, I wasn't a fan of this. I like a lot of L'Oreal skincare, but I just didn't like the clay cleanser. I like more of a foamy cleanser, so this wasn't really for me. Next is from JM Solution, and this is the Water Luminous Jelly Cleanser. I think I got this in an Ipsy. I wasn't crazy about this either. Like I said, this is a jelly cleanser, and I prefer something that's more foamy, but it was okay. Next, I got this from Ulta, and this is the Labotica Green Tea Lip and Eye Makeup Remover. There was 30 of these in this pack. These were really good. Like if I had a stubborn lip stick or like a lot of eye makeup on, like these did the job, definitely. I also used up a pack of the Neutrogena makeup remover. These are always going to be my go-to favorite makeup removing wipes. Next, I have a ton of just facial things. Like I don't even know how else to categorize it besides facial things. First, is from the brand Origins, and this is the High Potency Night Amends Mineral Enriched Renewal Cream. This is a really, really good thick moisturizer. However, it smells very orangey, and I personally do not like orangey scents, so that is why I did not like this. However, I think this performed well, and I've heard other people rave about it, so. If you don't mind orange, 
This might be good for you. Next is from Strivectin, and this is the Intensive Eye Concentrate for Wrinkles. So it's an eye cream, and honestly, I would use this at night, and I thought this was genuinely a good eye cream that I would recommend. Next is from Olay Regenerous, and this is their Whip Moisturizer. This is so good. Oh, it smells so good. This is really, really good. I love this moisturizer. I already have like a backup little sample, and I would 100% recommend this. And I always, always, always see coupons for this product, so you always can get it on sale somehow. Next is something I loved, and I did not expect to love it. This is the Shiseido Essential Energy Moisturizing Cream. Like this looks like a tiny container, but this went a long way, and it really smells good, and I liked it a lot, like a lot, a lot. Like I assume this is very expensive because it's Shiseido, but I also had a similar size sample of, of Tatcha Water Cream that was a very similar size, and that only lasted maybe like two or three uses, whereas I got like at least two weeks use out of this. So a little goes a long way with this, and it was fantastic. Next is from Vici, and this was their Aqua Thermal Power Serum. Honestly, it was such a tiny sample. I think I got three, maybe four uses out of it. I feel like I did not use it enough to, it just felt like a serum. Like I really couldn't like get a feel for it. Next was a serum I did like though. This is the Hey Honey Good Morning Honey Milk Facial Serum. This was great. I really liked this. It was good. Next, I got in an Allure Beauty box and this is the Biosense Squalane and Phyto Retinol Serum. I have a lot of words about this. First of all, it smelled like grass. Like it literally smelled like I was rubbing grass on my face, which yeah, because the full size of this is like in the $90 range. And I guess it was my first time ever using something with retinol in it, but I don't really know how that is supposed to work. But for me, when I would use it, like I would get like red patches that like burned on my face. And I don't know if that's like what it was supposed to do or if that was like my body saying like, don't use that. So I can't really recommend this. Next was such a good product. This is the Skin Iceland Solutions for Stressed Skin, the Antidote Cooling Daily Lotion. I would use this in the morning and wow, this was a very cooling moisturizer. I don't know how it worked, but like when you would rub it on, it would just whoosh, literally feel like you're just rubbing ice all over your skin. And it was amazing. And it like woke me up. This was so awesome. Next is another philosophy item. And this is the Purity Moisturizer. Once again, a very tiny sample, maybe got three or four uses out of it. It was fine. And that, that's all I can get out of it because I didn't use it enough to really make a decision. Next, I have a couple hair products. The first is the Tresemme Basic Care Dry Shampoo. This is an okay dry shampoo, not my favorite. It was just okay. I finished another dry shampoo. This is from Batiste, and this is their Sassy and Daring Wild dry shampoo. It worked well, however, I don't think I'd get this scent again because it just, it smells like perfume, and I don't really want like perfumey hair, so I wouldn't recommend the scent so much, but I do like the brand Batiste. And finally, I have some makeup products, and I really didn't use up too many products this month. I only have a couple here. The first is from Makeup Revolution. I finished another one of the concealers. I am loving these. I just go through these like lollipops. And my last empty of this video, I am very sad to say that I have finished my Benefit Roller Lash. It is completely dried out. There is nothing left when I try to use it. I do have another sample size in my backup drawer. This 100% I can say is my favorite mascara that I've tried and I've used and abused. And yeah, those were all my empties this month. Do you guys like watching these videos? I really like watching other people's empties videos. Let me know, have you guys tried any of these products? What worked for you, what didn't? Leave me a comment down below and let me know. As usual, thanks for stopping by my channel. If you're new here, click the subscribe button and ring that bell for notifications. I have my Twitter, my Instagram, and my blog down below. Give them a follow and I'll see you in the next video. Bye guys.